so I guess we kind of start off hearing a little bit about your characters and your versions of the characters in this, in this show. Bess Marvin in the books, she was the one that everyone picked fun at. Um, she was overweight um, and they said a lot of snarky comments. So we've removed the bullying, which is nice. Um, she has a lot of skeletons in the closet, um, a lot of stuff that you'll see that will unravel throughout the season, but she is just a really enthusiastic, positive person, <laughs> which is really good to play in a really dark and kind of sad, sh can be really sad show. Um, but yeah, she's going through so much with her identity especially, um, and finding out who she is. But, and, but she's also in Horseshoe Bay by herself. Um, She's a city girl that's moved, so yeah, she's she's a cool character to play. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Um, so I play George Fan, and George is a bit of a tougher character. She's so the opposite of Bess. Yes. Um, <laughs> chalk and cheese. She, yes, chalk and cheese. She is a manager at the Claw, so as you guys know, like that requires a lot of responsibility to take on a position like that. And she does not like Nancy Drew. <laughs> Like, they are so different in different, like, worlds. You know, Nancy appears to have a really good life. George kind of had a tougher time at home, alcoholic mother, taking care of her family all the time. Um, so she kind of has more of a jaded side of, a jaded view of yeah. life, um, given her circumstances. But as they all kind of come together, you start to see George have many more layers than just this tough, snarky, sarcastic person. I mean, with any sarcastic person, I mean, someone who's, like, really tough, I feel like there's always more than this, yeah. You know, yeah. I had a question. What would be the main difference between this upcoming series and other iterations of Nancy Drew in the past? I think what makes this iteration of Nancy Drew different is the fact that, um, well, one, the supernatural aspect to it changes the game completely. Um, it's not just mystery based, it's genuinely terrifying in other ways um, that are a little bit more mystical. And also just diving into the characters. This series really, really gives you a good look at what each five of these characters really are. And they're so layered and they're so deep compared to probably what you've touched on in the books or like other things like that. It's cool to like have a series like this because you really, we have the time to get into those characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's a modern day Nancy Drew. It's sort of, we've taken elements from the books and past uh, interpretations, but we've just made it more relatable. Um, every, all the characters go through some really hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm like tearing up thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> Nancy goes through so much. We all do. We're all so tired. Yeah. <laughs> Is so tired. Horseshoe Bay is a crazy place. Like, there's a lot, and you know, we're just a bunch of kids, really. You know, young adults. Yeah. Um, so it's good because I think we can definitely bring what we've gone through in our own personal lives because we've gone past that stage. We are, you know, in our mid twenties, so we can kind of use our own life experiences to mold the characters because there is a lot of real hard loss and love and. Uh, relationship problems with family members or boyfriends so yeah I think the kids or the young adults that watch it will be able to actually understand and yeah, yeah relate and maybe connect a bit more than some of the other interpretations that are like perfect everyone is great so, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah is there, is, there, is there something in what you shot already that you can't wait for the fans to see something that uh, defines something about your character or just an important moment for your character. I, yeah, there's actually yeah. There's a lot that's unravel. Um, yeah. So we'll touch in the pilot. Something happens to George that you see um, that clearly shows you she's not as tough and not as together as you think she is. It's something that could appear to be very taboo, but really to me, it's an act of insecurity. So that's really cool. You got you get to see her layers. Yes, yeah, same. I think throughout the whole season, what we've shot so far. There's, I feel like every episode there's a little bit of a peel. Peel back of the onion, yeah, for sure. And yeah. which is great. But there's, I don't want to say too much, but there's loads. We know too much. <laughs> we know too much. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. 
type. I mean, can you talk a little bit about your character's own mysteries? I mean, you're with Riley Smith's character, which might have been, I don't know, the state laws wherever you guys are shooting, but uh, um, might have been illegal in, in high school, and you are actually living in your own and dealing with your, you know, dealing with your sexuality, and maybe that's why you got left home and got kicked out, I don't know, but can you talk a little bit about your own character's <laughs> Um, so with George... The thing with Ryan, that is so taboo. Because yes, it did begin when she was in high school. Um, but like I said, that was kind of toying it, like tying into the question that I just answered for you. It is definitely her reaching out to something that I don't think she really believes is attainable. You know, she's trying to be older. She's trying to be more mature than she actually is. So despite it being ta taboo, I think it's something that she's really going through as a young woman trying to figure out, like, how do I get this attention and fill this void, you know? Yeah. Uh, what was the question? I just got so lost in <laughs> I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Storyline and mystery about how she's living um, at home, which she claims she's living with her dad. Well, if you've, can I talk about the pilot? Yeah. Yeah. You can talk. I mean, it's it would air. You know. This is true. Um, she likes to steal. So you can have that one. <laughs> she is a bit of a klepto, so. Um, a cheerful klepto. <laughs> yeah, and she does it well. Like You're I am. Klepto. I look good. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like shiny things Yeah, I'm like a magpie. She does like shiny things. Yeah. We actually mentioned that later on. I do. I really do. She does. Um, so yeah, th there's a lot of stuff that you'll see with that that sense too. She's a hustler. 